students welcome to this youtube channel in today's video i am discussing b trees and b plus trees in the last lecture we discussed about the prerequisites so uh, here we will know that how your multi level indexing is so important in your b trees and b plus trees so before that your b trees and this b plus trees are originated from mv search tree and in mv search tree is actually what uh, is adapted from the binary search tree theorem which you must uh, find another video on the channel there are no guidelines for mv search tree so we have just a binary search tree where we can insert as many as m m uh, minus 1 nodes in a particular node okay so there are number of keys which can be present in your um, particular node so there is no such guideline that how many number of children are, should be there or how many maximum capacity is there in your internal nodes or external nodes or a leaf nodes so there is no such guideline it's just that there is an m way search tree where there are m num m minus one number of elements in your uh, particular node so over here here we are having only one element per node but we can have m minus one number of keys in one node okay so which is a time consuming when we have to search a particular element in binary search tree it is useful for uh, searching purpose and for searching any key value we start from the root if key value is smaller we go on the left hand side if key value is larger we go on the right side that is a simple theorem which you have you can see in another video of binary search tree We'll start with B uh, trees, which are having some guidelines to follow. Uh, first one is internal node should have at least m uh, divided by two children. That is the seal value of this, at and at max m child nodes. So at least you should have this this many number of children for internal node. This is just for internal nodes like the A twenty over here. This is an example of internal nodes. This is your root node. This is your leaf nodes. So in root node should have at least zero children. Either it is having no children or it has maximum of m child nodes. We will see in an example how it goes. Every node has m minus one keys. So if you are having a tree of order m, then uh, we can say order m. So every node has m minus one keys. So for every node can have m minus one keys at max. All leaf nodes should be at same level. This is a rule which was not in MV search tree. There was no rule of having equal. Uh, the node should be at leaf node should be at same level. This is a point which is important. Creation process is bottom up. So when we are having we are creating a particular search tree, we are going bottom up okay this is the approach we will be following so i'll take an example where you can see that we are considering some number of elements we'll insert them in an empty b tree of order five so over here in the question the order will be given to you that is five so it means a particular node can have maximum m minus one keys that is four keys can only be present in a particular node so we'll start uh, creating now a B tree. First is we are having element five in our B tree. Then the second element is twelve, so we can have in one node two elements also. Maximum we can have how many keys? M minus one keys. So at maximum we can have four keys in a node. So we can insert one more. Twelve, fourteen. Then we can insert one more, 1, 5, 12, 14. Now this is the maximum limit for a node having 4 keys. Now when we will insert the next element, so we have inserted these 4. Now we will insert the second ele this element, number 2. So what we will do is, we will divide this particular B tree. So how we will do is, we will divide it uh, how we will divide it 2 will be inserted over here so 5 can be the root node in the root node 
we can have in the child node 1 and 2 and on the right side we can have 12 and 40. So you can see over here we can have at least m by 2 children over here. So m by 2 means over here m is currently how many? Uh, m is uh, 5 so divided by 2 is how much 2.5 uh, the seal value is 2 so we can have 2 at least we can have 2 children okay then what we will do is what we will do next is we have to insert 4 we will insert 4 over here so we are having 5 1 2 and 4 element this side then we are having 12 and 14 will insert then next element 18 that will be inserted on the right side so we are having like this 12 14 18 then we'll insert the next element 19 which will be again inserted on the right side 12 14 18 19 so on the right side you can see the maximum limit has been reached that is 4 elements per node. Now if we insert any element on this side obviously we have to again break it. So we have reached till 19. We will insert 17. Obviously 17 will be inserted on the right side as it is greater than your root node. So we have to insert over here 12, 14, 17, 18, 19. So 17th element will go on the with the root node. So it will be like this 5, 17, 1, 2, 4. Here we will keep the element 12 and 14. And on this side we will keep the element 18 and 19. So the element which has to be inserted here will go up and we will break this particular node. So this is the now final result okay so I'll just show after each step first step second and so on next step after this one is we have to insert the element 15th so we are having the root node 5 and 17 on the left side 1 2 and 4 in the middle we are having 12 and 14 so 15th element will be inserted here then we are having on the right side 18 and 19 next we will insert element 25 so we are having 15 17 here 1 2 and 4 12 14 15 on the right side we will insert 18 19 and 25 I'll just skip the step then we will insert 24 Okay, now again this side it is full we have to insert 22 which will come here. So again we will make it go in the root node 15, 17 and 22. On this side we are having 1, 2 and 4. Here we are having 12, 14, 15. This side 18 and 19. And here we are having 24 and 25 so next we have to insert 11 we will insert 11 here I am just skipping the step in one only then we have to insert 30 we will insert 30 here we will insert 31 here so 4 elements maximum over here in this node are completed we have to insert 28 here so obviously that will also go in the root node so we are having 5 17 22 28 here and uh, 1 2 4 here we are having 11 12 14 15 between 17 and 22 we are having elements 18 and 19 between 22 and 28 we are having 24 and 25 and after 28 we are having 30 and 31 and the 
Next element is 29. We'll insert 29 here. 13th, 13 element will be inserted here. So we have to put the 13th element in the root node. But root node is again full here. So we'll break the root node also now. How we will do is we will make uh, 13 element will be inserted this side in the root node. So 17 will become my root. Then we are having internal node as 5 and 13. This side we will be having 22 and 28. Here I am having 1, 2, 4. Between 5 and 13 I will be having 11 and 12. After 13 we are having 14 and 15 which are less than 17 but greater than 13. Then uh, before to, uh, 22 we are having 18 and 19 which are greater than 17 and then here we are having 24 and 25 and at the last node 29 30 and 31 so this is the uh, b tree we have created with these elements now how this multi-level indexing is used is it is used when we are having a, for every particular element in every node we are having a pointer which is actually storing the elements in our hard disk so for this particular case we are having a pointer we are having a pointer for this this one this one this one this one this one so we are having so many pointers for our b trees which is actually the disadvantage of b trees that is why we use b plus trees so in in our in our storage these pointers will be there which will be actually storing the elements in like 17 will be storing here so it is putting the pointer to its location okay so how it is done in your b plus trees that we will see in b plus trees we are having no record pointers from non leaf nodes but only from leaf nodes and copy is present in the leaf nodes and forms a linked list with leaf nodes only so dense indexing multi-level indexing is done so high level multi-level indexing is done how it is done in the last example we were having at the end uh, this example where we are having we left with this particular tree so how your b tree b plus tree looks like is in the in your leaf nodes this is the last leaf nodes we will be having all the elements 1 2 4 5 13 like this we will be having the copy of all the elements here so, sorry 5 will be there 13 will not be there here then after 5 we will be having 11 12 now we will have 13 after 13 the last node we will be having 14 15 and 17 now on this side before 22 we will be having elements 18 19 and 22 between 22 and 28 we will be having elements 24 25 and 28 and at the end we will be having elements 29 30 and 31 okay so this is how it will be done in your b plus trees and in b plus trees that means a copy is present of every element of your root node as well as your internal nodes in your leaf nodes so here we are just having the copy in our leaf nodes also of the internal and root nodes so over here we will form a particular linked list so your this is a linked list which will be there like this a linked list will be formed so this particular record will be there in our hard disk instead of having pointer from each node internal nodes and root node we are having only pointers of each leaf node linked with the another one like this it is having the address of next uh, node having all the elements like this so this is how b plus tree is there so that is all for your B plus trees and B trees.
Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please share, comment, uh, like, share and comment and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Thank you very much.